Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2022. And we are up finishing our sweet, sweet, sweet sugar beet contract. So we technically finished off the contract uh, last episode, but there is still some sugar beet left in the field to harvest. And then we've got to get this to our farm. We're gonna, we're gonna store it. Uh, it's not the best price uh, this particular month because it's harvest season. So we will collect this, store it, and hopefully reap a larger profit than the contract mod estimated, which I think is around $17,500, something to that effect. So if we can get a higher price, uh, we'll take it. Uh, this episode, we will be buying something. Now that something is either the oil production or uh, a new field. Haven't decided yet. Uh, we'll look at that soon. But we first need to finish uh, this off. Wow, this is a beast. It is huge. Make sure, yeah, we're on. We will come in and finish this off. Love this twisty little neck. Now you might have noticed on the top right screen it says contract on field 10 finished. And be like, hey Sargon, didn't you finish this last episode? And the answer is yes. Now I had a little save game glitch where I was hopping back into the game uh, to finish this off and everything was just poof, disappearing. Which shouldn't be happening, but it was. So it took me a bit, but I figured out how to get into some saved backup files and replace the current game with a spot where we were stable. So I actually had to run a couple loads to the uh, cell point and you know, finish off a bit more of the harvesting of the actual field. And that's where we are now. So let me just uh, bang this off here and we will get to uh, filling up some of those tractors. Um, in a moment. Just finishing harvesting the last of the sugar beet here. Uh, this is a stretch I missed earlier on, not the helper. This one's on me, but that's fine. We're gonna clean it up and we have just enough room in the harvester. In fact, I think I see another little strip that, yeah, I think that was once again, me that uh, missed that. Just up here on our right, We'll turn off the harvester so we can boot along and we're going downhill and let's see how fast we can slow down. Ah. You know, maybe I should hit the brakes a little sooner, but that's fine. That is fine. But we have plenty of room plant by plenty, less than 2% room in the harvester. We'll get this loaded into the two trailers. Back to our farm. Ooh, was that some sugar beet there as well? Ooh, uh, I would like that, please. Okay, so let me just get the last little bit and we'll start uh, loading up. This is actually our second unload. I had to unload some because there's enough bits along the edge of the field that it filled up the harvester. So that one is already full of sugar beet. Uh, this one will quickly fill up. Uh, thank goodness we have ours as well. So we'll save a bit of time by the fact that we only have to drive these to my farm. 
and then we can return them after this is all in our silo. So just hop over here. Just a tad bit. Sorry, my little dude, but that's fine. Oh, we will unload. Not on top of the tractor, please. Oh, I'm damaging my tractor. That's not good. There we go. And that is now empty. So let's get uh, these tractors back over to my farm and get uh, all this into our silo. Are just rolling up to the train station um, and that's because well basically this is like the potato fiasco all over again of course we can't store sugar beets in a silo okay city slicker uh, my bad but we will store them here for now uh, the price I, I think is going up so we might be able to sell them I think next month but we'll double check that as we roll up into here with the last a little bit here. Let's get here. Unload it. There we go. Let's pull out. So let's have a look see at the price. So as you can see, we have 50,000 liters and we are here at Goldcrest Valley. It's 430 going up. And, you know, we, well, we might sell them in November, but we'll see. It's, if the prices continue to go up, uh, we might hold on to it. So with that being said, uh, we're going to come in and we will accept this contract. It is complete and we are done and we've collected that money. We have $82,791 from that contract. So let's get back to the farm. Uh, let's jump into the month of November. It's a beautiful fall day here in Elm Creek. And I think we've got a few things to do here. Let's check on the one production. I think we can actually sell for a profit here. And that is our eggs. We're gonna come in and look at our egg prices. Uh, 4,100, oh, 4,289, but dropping. Yeah, we're at the peak. So we're gonna get into our, we are gonna get into our truck as soon as we can find it. There we go. And we'll head over to Johnson's Farmer Market, I think it's called. It's got the best price, even though the one right across the street isn't doing too, too bad. Just uh, load things up here. All right, so we have our eggs loaded up. Uh, we'll double check our best price. Yeah, it's Johnson's Farmer's Market. We'll get over there. We'll make a little bit of money. And while we are on the drive over, we'll think about what do we want to accomplish. Oh, sorry, not what we want to accomplish. We're buying something today. We're not just selling two and a quarter pallets of eggs. But as we've discussed, we can buy an oil mill production, which is the one, honestly, I'm leaning towards. You know, we have canola in the uh, silo, and I think there's a trick that we can probably deliver and sell that silo and then quickly buy. Uh, we can then buy the production. And if that works, that means we will get the oil the canola oil out at the end of the production, which makes some extra money. I think that would work quite well. There is the option of buying a field, but we are... I think the oil mill production is what makes uh, the most sense. We have 80000 plus dollars, which is enough for us to buy that production. And then we can get in the production business, and then the planting of the canola 
becomes even more valuable. See how valuable these eggs are? Ooh, this is some good money. Wow. 12,374 dollars from two and a quarter pallet of eggs. Yeah, eggs is going to be our way uh, to make good lots of money to expand our farming empire. So let's get back to the farm and pick up our canola. And I think we're going to go buy the oil mill production. We'll just grab what little canola that we have. Only 40% of a trailer load. But we'll head over somewhat very slowly for some reason. Careful, I have a habit of going on to the fields and damaging them, and this isn't the one with narrow tires. Woo, okay. So let's get to the oil mill production. Uh, we'll save the game, and we'll see if we can uh, trick the game into allowing us to benefit from this canola delivery. So I've saved the game, uh, so let's see if we can deliver this and then buy the oil production. Okay, it's been delivered. I think the trigger's right here, yep. And let's buy it. It's ours. And yes, we have 7,413 liters of canola in the production. So we can deactivate the sunflower and the olive oil. And we'll just take advantage here of the canola. Now hopefully we get some sunflower contracts. I have seen them plant it and hopefully the sell point is here, but not sure. But this is going to be a good investment. So I think we'll leave uh, this episode here today. Nice little short one, uh, but we will continue in the month of November next time. So thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.